So I'm talking with Florian Friedrich about HDR, one of my favorite topics because I find it so compelling. And um, we were talking about uh, shooting with cameras and uh, the F Sony F65, which is certainly one of the high-end cameras that uh, are is now being used to shoot movies digitally. Um, you uh, have been using that camera actually to shoot some test material yourself, haven't you? Yes. Um so, so uh, multiple things are going on there, um, but maybe the, one of the most interesting things for um, for, for 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 people here, um, it, what we did, um, and and I did that just recently last week with uh, Ron Williams, one one of your um, uh, oh yeah for prior uh, guests. Yeah. Um, we we did put together a HDR still life. Okay, so um, and we actually just have graphic a picture number of six. It. Yes, so so that's you know that's just uh, just an example. What we wanted to do is we wanted to have um, some uh, some natural colors like the bread that you would see there and the flowers and you know uh, the wood and also some colors that are going out of what we um, what we are used to uh, to see in 709 uh, so for example these LEDs um, and there's this discussion about do we need colors uh, you know out of the 7 uh, 709 color gamut and um, the answer is yes LEDs are um, are a big element of our lives now today I mean in, in our env environments you we see have them everywhere. LED Exactly. So, so it doesn't. It simply doesn't look natural if these LEDs are not um, uh, shown. You know, if, if they are desaturated. And there is um, at number eleven. There's a laptop. Um, th that's actually a prototype um, uh, from uh, from Nanosys. Um, you know, it's 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 not a Nanosys uh, laptop, but it, it it was modified from Nanosys. Um, and this is close to Rec 2020. So so. Um, by, the, by the way, uh, Nanosys Nanosys is a company that makes quantum dots. Uh, in exactly. fact, uh, I, I have I have the CEO of Nanosys scheduled to be on the podcast uh, later this month. Oh, very good, very yeah. good. So, so, so the 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 thing about this still life here is, you know, that we not only shot it with the F65, we also did some measurements of these uh, individual spots with uh, Minolta CS2000, which is a spectral radiometer, uh, in order to see, you know, what kind of light differences and color differences and spectral differences um, we have there. Um, and I actually think we, we have, have that a, in 6A and 6B. Yeah. So, you know, these are just like, um, you know, 30 is a filament of, uh, of the, of the, of the lamp, you know, that, that, that you would see. And seven is the green LED. You would see that the green LED's color coordinate is way outside the, um, uh, even the P3, um, um, uh, color gamut. And, um, in, in the scene, you know, uh, we can we can go back to the scene. We would um, we would see brightness differences of, uh, reaching from a more than ten thousand nit to less than one nit. And I can tell you, this is not this is not something that is um, you know uh, way too bright lit up. It's it's just a regular room situation. It, it's it's. It, these levels up to 10,000 nits, um, or let's say way above uh, a thousand nits, they they happen in 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 almost every room. So um, yes, a TV that would send a thousand nits um, uh, full wide, or let's say 10,000 nits full wide, um, to the to the to the um, uh, to, to to the viewer um, would appear very bright. But it that's not the topic. The topic is reproducing the specular highlights like. Like if you look at 19, there's you know the vase below the flowers, and um, it, it there's there's a there's a reflection of the lamp, and you know if you oh, take yeah. this if you take this reflection away, um, it is actually uh, or if you reduce it, it it doesn't look as realistic as it looks in real life, and and you know that's one of my points why I think I'm. I'm a big fan of HDR because of these uh, specular highlights, and um, and there was a discussion going on about you know 10-bit SDR compared to 10-bit uh, HDR. Yeah, and, Joe Kane. Uh, Joe Kane made that point when last time he was on the show. 
Yes. <laughs> so, so Joe Kane and I are working together. Uh, we we not necessarily always have the same opinion, but uh, we want to put our heads together um, and and produce a program that you know will help all interested um, uh, home theater geeks. <laughs> yes. Very good. Excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, will will help um, you know all enthusiasts to uh, understand you know the value of HDR and the value of SDR if done properly, um, as well as providing um, calibration tools um, uh, or adjustment tools. So mm -hmm. you know for for calibration um, there are some things that you that you can do currently uh, like um, adjusting the white balance and maybe adjusting some of the secondary colors um, of the color gamut um, when you do calibration but obviously um, it's it's not as advanced um, as it is for SDR at least not at this point of time but uh, right. I'm sure we will we will see it getting better and better soon.